ready? Right, this okay. is okay, yeah? Everything. Yes. Kind of my dream would be to have a centralized repository. Interested. So one of the things which really touched me in this MOOC was that at some point I, I, I got an email by a then 13 year old girl from India. So her mother said, why don't you do a MOOC? And she did ours and she liked it. And she came to us to tell us that she liked it. And now, uh, just before, uh, I think just before COVID, I got an email from her that she was accepted at some top tier American uh, university for doing linguistics. So that is, I don't know, that's basically my, that was my dream with all of this to have. Uh, we were used to learning experience where we use this kind of uh, textbooks as a skeleton of a course, while the open educational resources was moving that even uh, forward and farther. Mm -hmm. I realized, well, you know, I learned from other people sharing, so I need to share my own work. And, you know, that just that cycle um, goes on. And librarians were a big piece of that. So I'm aware that many of you there that are watching us maybe librarians uh, i have to say that you know without your involvement these open education resources um services ideas would be impossible because librarians are in charge of organizing mm -hmm. organizing knowledge um i would stress that um uh, we are not the goal as say as per se because it is belongs to the to the um, SDGs, especially SDG 4, the Sustainability Development Goals, education right. for all and all those uh, pillars with about equity, equality, life of learning, quality, inclusiveness, accessibility, etc. And it's also already stated by UNESCO, the United Nations, that education is a human right. My approach is talk about this teach about the question about teaching and what i try to do then is is uh, uh, try to find out what is hindering you what is hindering you in giving the lesson which for you is perfect and from that uh, from that information i try to an analyze how can i help you with open educational resources now um Open educational resources, I think, fits very much with the university's missions as civic um, institutions with a, a mission or values around extending access to education. What open education is about, it is that sharing that helps us not just grow as individuals, but also as, as, uh, as a collective, as a society. And uh... What we need, uh, still need today, is... Uh greater involvement, greater discussion from different parties involved in the higher education, professional training, open development. Then we have to think about copyright. And when we are thinking about copyright, we have to think about how this copyright can like, serve people, not be a part of a problem of mm -hmm. not getting this, uh, this content to people who want it, who need it for their development, for their education. And I think Pandemic helped because everything every eyes turned to the remotely things and on the online content but uh, the, till now i think uh, in some countries the academic world is too close and i think if we start showing that yes it can be done yes we're doing it i think more and more people will start uh, uh, also contributing to the open education movement and i think i enjoyed it more than i thought i would <laughs> which is wonderful.